you are watching. This is Miro African Diaspora TV. Ah, welcome to Diaspora Today. This is essentially a program where we discuss social and political issues as well as cultural issues affecting the life of Biafrans, home and their abroad. In today's program, we're going to talk about the ESN. One of the reasons for the state of insecurity in Nigeria is said to be the indiscipline in the Nigerian security apparatus. According to Mazen Nambekan, the leader of the IPOB, the ESN is not a Biafran army, but a regional security force designed to drive the Fulani raiders out of the farmland of the Biafran land. In this sense, the function of the ESN is to checkmate the Fulani terrorists in the bushes of Biafran land, so they belong exclusively to the bush. The question is, are the ESN up to the expectation? Are they disciplined enough to adhere to Mazin Namdekanu's description of their function and purpose? For this discussion, I have with me here in studio Mazi Andy Emekadu and Mazi George Ndugisi. So, gentlemen, welcome to the program, Bureau Africa Diaspora TV, Biafra Today. Thank you very much. Thank you, viewers. Now, once again, the question. Um, I start with you today, Mazi Andy Emekadu. The ESN, are they disciplined enough to adhere to Mazi um, Namdekanu's um, description of their their purpose and their aim. Okay, um, thank you very much, my able moderator, uh, Mazi Robinson, uh, Afam. Afam Efuna. Afam Efuna, so to say. Um, it's a very wonderful name. Uh, it also has something in conjunction with what we are talking about, ESN, Eastern Security Network. The essence of it is, one of the reason for it, or definition for it is, Essentially, the meaning of your name, Afame Funa, okay. you know, so that um, the eastern region will not be moved into extinction. Okay, um, so sorry, uh, now that you have started with my name, uh, you said it in Igbo. Can you just translate it in English so that others would understand? Would understand? Yes, I, I, have, I, have, I have translated it, but I, for the purpose of clarity, the meaning of Afame Funa means so that my generation or my lineage will not go into extinction. Okay. Yeah. And that is one of the reason, primary purpose, why ESN is formed. Now back to your question. The question you asked us, if these people will keep to um, the, the decalogue of the the, 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 the the essence of the uh, formation of the ESN. Um, if we if we go by uh, antecedents and things that have happened over time that has to do with uh, uh, Mazen and the Kano, the leader, our leader, my leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, I may able to say it any time, any day, with no apology to anyone. Mazen and the Kano is an exceptional extra human creature we are still going to come to that topic i would like you just to go straight to this question the esn this and we the intention is to give a kind of evaluation if you will are they living up to this expectation are they living up to the description made by inland kind of concerning what is their aim and objective okay um so far so good we have had no reason to begin to doubt the the formation or uh, 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 the, the ESM with regards to whether they are living up to the expectation uh, placed or uh, put in place by Mazi uh, Nandekano concerning the uh, 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 their Function. security, security yeah. functions. For now, I, I, I think they are on the top gear. So, can you give us one example of what you think they have been doing so far that makes you think they are living to the expectation? Now, let me just give you a point. No, Mazin Namdekan said that um, ESN, e ESN belongs to the bush. I mean, they are there to checkmate the Fulanis. So essentially, he made it clear that their function is to um, checkmate the Fulani, the, the terrorists that are disturbing our, fa our fathers, sisters, and brothers from uh, attending their normal duties. That is, for example, going to their farm. 
And um, yes, this is the first purpose. The question is, are they living up to this expectation? Of course, very well. They are living up to this expectation. Uh, if you if you if you go to our regions this place and ask questions, even one or two of my friends that actually travelled home from diaspora, yeah. we are here where we are. That even travelled home within this uh, uh, period of um, Christmas and uh, end of the year, will attest to the fact that the Eastern Zone experienced the most wonderful relative peace that we have not had for over a decade now, courtesy of ESN. That's right. Okay. And um, now the BBC. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, viewers. Uh, I will start by saying that it's, it, it, it may be a premature to begin to judge the activities of uh, Eastern Security Network. If I'm not mistaken, the uh, regiment was formed three or four months ago. Uh, so, uh, in this context or scope of time, one cannot determine for now if they are living up to expectation or if they are not. But having said that, I think any other security apparatus is better than the sticky situation we found ourselves now in one Nigeria. Any other security apparatus is better than one Nigeria security arrangement. So I will say with every uh, convincing note that Eastern Security Network has actually um, done their best to bring peace at least a kind of somewhat a resemblance of peace to uh, you know towns and villages across uh, Biafran land. Mazin Nande Kano made it known that uh, they belong to the bush. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree because when you who see the activities of the Fulani headsmen, people who descend from the Sahel, from the northern part of Nigeria, they have no interest in coming to town and settling with the communities. Rather, they move into the bushes, you know, the clear bushes, without any permission from original owners of the land and they settle. Then uh, to compound it all, they begin to attack, they begin to rape, they begin to destroy farm crops. So uh, Eastern Security Network, as ordered by Mazin Nande Kano, uh, you know, their place, I don't know if I'm right to say or to echo what Nande Kano has said, their place is in the bush, maybe to drive away these talks. Yes. Um, there are two, uh, two things we have to observe in this statement that they are placed in the bush. Some, somehow, people might not understand exactly, I mean, the significance of that statement. It might sound small, but it, it's, it has a heavy weight. One is that it has to up, uh, address the issue of Fulani settlement from a historical point of view. Fulani settlements in the, uh, in the north that is known today as Sokoto, um, started just gradually and there's, um, they just emerged or arrived as migrants and um, gradually they settled there as peasant farmers, as cattle rellers and yes. gradually yes. they took over the whole place. Gradually they removed the, 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 the kings of the, of the north. The Sokoto, this, uh, king. the, the, the Sokoto kings. I think that was... Um, um, in cooperation with... Um, king Yumfa. Yumfa and, and uh, there is another king that also, they weren't all that intelligent to understand that certainly in the bush, now we are talking about the bush. Yes. Those essentially mean taking away your backyard. Yes. And then someone takes away your backyard, before you know it, it takes away your front yard as well. Mm -hmm. So Mazin Namdekan does not only understand the history as the way it affects our life, but, but he also is an economist. You understand what it means to, for somebody to occupy your bush? And for example, as a Fulani. This having said, um, I ask this question because um, the intention here is not to judge, just using your word, 
the EFCN, for God's sake. Um, what Mazin and the Kanu produce, nobody should come and judge it. But what we are trying to do is to look, have a closer look on the issue of discipline. Yes. The issue of discipline, as I've shown, uh, as I've said earlier, is a problem in the Nigerian security apparatus. It is a kind of a flaw in the Nigerian people, or what they, the what Nigerian they security apparatus is 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 is. Do I say? A, a devil's entity. Okay. I want to be very, very blunt. So you, there is no way you can com compare the Eastern Security Network to Nigerian security apparatus. Nigeria is uh, Nigeria is not a nation. Well, Nigeria. No, let's not go too far. The comparison is very, very important. Not for us to see find fault in the ESN, but for us to see how significant. Uh, they have been in this short time. Yes. That, is, that is the essence of the comparison. And then, um, uh, for us to understand what I'm trying to say in this context, let's listen first of all to what Dele Momodu said to BBC. Then you will understand what it means to, to look, to have yes. a closer look at um, the, uh, or to evaluate the, 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 yeah, the effort of the ESN. Yes, at yes, the talk, say the thing we need. Now, disciplined security. If they're being disciplined, they know they take bribe, they know they harass innocent people, everything will be okay. I I was talking also about Mazin and Bikanu that I've seen the security network he has put together. I think they look more serious. They look as serious and as formidable as the Nigerian military or anybody. You will see they are then they ready for action, you know. So we need people like that. You know, they just talk grammar in the back of the grammar with action. Um, no, you guys have seen it on the, his um, stake on that his take on, on on the issue of security uh, apparatus formed that, formed by the urban leader Mas Namikano. Yes, is that um, there is no better security apparatus currently uh, like that of ESN, yes. and apart from that. He emphasized on the issue of discipline. Yes. So this is why uh, we have from, from every angle, be it from the Jafrons themselves, from the Yorubas, from the Middle Belgians, even from the Northerners who understand the value of freedom, uh, people, it has been credit all through to Eastern Security Network. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I have to give my own uh, assessment, so far so good. You know, our women, our mothers, our fathers have been going to their farms the last days, you know, with uh, ease, with peace. And we've not been hearing, except for occasional incidents that we used to hear now along uh, Bini, Edo, or Ore, Express Road. Are they not operating within that area? No, you don't. You may not call them Eastern or other Biafra. You know, we are talking about Biafra yes, in this context. The, yes, and the Bini area, uh, the, the no, area, from, they're from, part of stuff. Uh, uh, maybe if they choose to be part of Biafra now, okay. yes, we can allow right. them. Okay. But our the original uh, map of Biafra, with which uh, our late father, um, Dean Odume Wojubu, is working along, okay. Bini is not part of Biafra, or was not part of Biafra. All right. Yes. I, I don't know if I if I may be allowed to uh, throw more Shut into it. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, in the last broadcast of Mazi Nandekano, uh, our leader, uh, he made mention of this same um, or uh, uh, issue whereby the the Fulanis, we uh, the Fulani uh, was it, kidnappers or marudas, we we block the road and uh, uh, kidnap people. He said that. If being allowed, ESN can swap into action over there and within a couple of days and wipe them out. And wipe them out. But that he, they will not do it because if that is done now, the next thing you, the next cry you will begin to hear is that eh, they have come, uh, these uh, Biafran people, these Igbo people have come to, uh, ESN have come to take over their land. He doesn't know whether the land belongs to the area where they are operating, belongs to the Yoruba or to the Edo's or to the okay. Benin's. 
But but they, I, they will bring a, 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 an ethnic issue. Yes, they will bring a lot of ethnicities and other. It goes a long way to show you mm -hmm. the efficacy, mm -hmm. the potency, mm -hmm. the, 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 the underlying action that lays within the ambit of the ESN. They actually they belong to the bush. And they, mind you, these Fulanese that are constituting nuisance everywhere, kidnapping and maiming and raping and destroying people, lives and properties and things, reside more in the bush. There is one a Benin man, a one Benin um, uh, 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 bourgeois from, from America that came. Yes. He was kidnapped. Okay. Just to walk for three, four hours into the bush, the man could no longer walk and he was shot direct. There. So they the, the essentially they turned uh, uh, the bush, uh, the bushes, into uh, a, a place of um, uh, operating uh, zone where they, uh, they, they, they I mean, hide to uh, do their evil uh, uh, acts. I mean, yes. From time to don't, Korea. don't forget their uh, their operation, their modus operandi is not entirely uh, unknown to we Easterners. You know, they, they, they came in, they attack, they frighten, they displace people, and the moment they run away out of fear, they bring in their wives, their kids, or their cow to settle. So the intent or the intention is to drive people away from their original settlement and take possession of the land. And they establish uh, an occupied. Yes. And they establish... Uh, yes. They establish that the... was what is... Or what happened and currently happened happening in Jos, in Kaduna, yes, yes. and it happened in Sokoto. Yes, yes. We knew how they came the in. US, uh, uh, at the end of the day, they chopped uh, they chopped the head of the then ruling king of uh, um, Sokoto. Yeah. Now let me ask you: According to Global Terrorist Index, uh, the Nigerian Fulani militants are the fourth um, deadliest terrorist group in the world. And the Mieti Allah is said to be the sponsor of this group. Um, nevertheless, the northern governors are behind the Mieti Allah. They don't criticize them. They don't. They have never come out to, I mean, deem them as anything wrong. On the contrary, they keep supporting them and even gave them hundred uh, hundred million uh, millions of naira, millions yes. of naira uh, to finance their deadly uh, acts. You know, but. What I want to know is why is it that the, the, the Eastern governors are not in support of, in support of the ESN, even though they are essentially the the, the, the the security apparatus fighting the terrorists? Why are they not in support of them? Do you can you say something about it? Okay, <laughs> um, please uh, pardon me to use this word um, for the purpose of uh, 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 explaining uh, my point or trying to drive my point home. I would say the reason is because they are stupid. I'm sorry to say this, but I think I have loads of fans to buttress my point when I say that the Eastern governors inability to support their own is as a result or tend to the fact that they because they are stupid. Why do I say this? Because it has been proven over time that these people are full of these stooges. For them to become anything, they believe it is a belief system to them that before they amount to anything, you must go and 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 and, and, and be bowing down to and uh, uh, full pledge, of and pledge, and, 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 and pledge, make a pledge, allegiance, and you know, make your pledge and all that. Yeah. Look at the recent, look at the recent stupid attitude of Mwike. The River State Governor that was horrible. Who hasn't even paid uh, 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 the whole of workers in River State? Okay. A lot of things, if a lot of things going on there, people are still suffering. I there. thought you had to Only for him to go to to go to Sokoto to go and pledge five hundred million. million. And please to correct what you people just said here. Okay. It was the Miet Allah were not giving five hundred million. They were giving five one hundred billion. I didn't say five hundred. I thought I said. 100, 100 million. Yeah. You know, the, what they were giving was 100 billion. billion. And billion. while they were giving them the 100 billion, they were there arguing that what they wanted was 160. 
which of the organizations in that same contraption called Nigeria has ever been given? Let me say 20 billion. By the way, uh, let me let me okay. let me say something okay. about the reluctancy of the Eastern elite, or rather the Igbo elite, okay. uh, to uh, throw their weight mm -hmm. on uh, uh, Eastern Security Network. Yeah. You see, that is actually one of the fundamental African problem, or the Igbo man's problem. Thank you. I wanted to know if it is a specific behavior of the Igbo man, because when we use the word African, we are not going to use. It's it not. It's not. It cannot be narrowed down to the Igbo man specifically. It's the African story. Okay. Yes. Let's see. But. In Igbo land, the, 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 the practice has grown wings. I mean, okay. it's on the rise in Igbo land. I think why? Because the Europeans, when they invaded, they studied the Igbo, Igbo, the Igbo man, their social structure, and they and, understood. And yes. yes, they understood that these people, they have something upstairs. And if left unchecked, they will have a very strong driver. And that is why they packaged us, handed us over to the Fulanese. They knew what they did. How? Now. How? How did they package you and, and, and hand you over to the Fulanese? Uh, let me come again. I say when they came, yes. they studied yes. us, yes. our social yes. structure, yes. you know, and they found it very difficult to break in into our system to control us. That was why it was easy for them to come from the north, they imposed the Fulanese on us. That does not mean they did not manage to break through. They started with these uh, Waran chiefs. Okay, well, the question now is, please, I, I don't mean to interrupt you. Yes, right on. The Igbo governors, yes. the Biafran, the governors from the, uh, the, the region, uh, yes. Biafran region, they are like you said, they did not put their weight behind the, uh, the ESN. Yes, Even though they are doing great deal of a job, they are the one checkmating the terrorists in the bushes. You say that um, one of the reasons for their nonchalance, if you will, is because that's what I want to understand. One of just give one point why they are doing that. Take for instance the so-called Igwe's or kings we have in Igbo land. We never had it. But it was the Europeans who came and introduced what we know as Warren Chiefs. Good. Now, when the Europeans went, these so-called Warren Chiefs came to understand that they profit or they profited from this title or this position of Warrant Men. So they decided to return it. It is exactly what is happening to these so-called Igbo elites and politicians. Uh, the Warren chief is meant to serve the interest of the foreigners or the colonial masters. So what they are doing, in essence, is to walk alongside the Fulanese, who is in turn controlled by the British, to subjugate their people. Okay, so you are now they will not come out openly to condemn the ESN or uh, yeah. To, to support the ESN. To support. Just because, like, just like because, 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 because of the negative uh, effect, effect it will have to their political masters. masters. So, okay. that. so it is essentially because for the reason that they are pursuing their personal interests. Thank you. And on the, and, and, and thereafter, or as a result, undermine the interests of the public. Yes, the, the communal interest. So and uh, I want to know. This word, uh, indolence, it doesn't just say about someone being uh, not willing to do what he or she wants to do. But it, it, the issue of indolence, doesn't it also talk about our lack of, um, yeah, our somehow psychic, uh, psychic, um, uh, like being... Um, it says much. It says yes. much about um, our, um, our uh, state of mind, yes. of not knowing what we have to do at a proper time? Not necessarily not knowing. Don't tell me these politicians no, or these men doesn't know. They know. No, 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 yeah? They, they, what I'm trying to say is that if you are indolent, it's like you are also an extremist. Yes. Because we have extremism 
in the right, left, and also in the middle. In the center, yes. In the center. This person that is not approaching what is supposed to be his priority is indolence. It's an act of indolence and it's extremity. And from, from my point of view, um, to get a, a holistic analysis of this governor, I want to know if that's not the problem we have in the Eastern uh, state that the governors are indolent, they are not uh, um, uh, essentially, I mean, in their state of mind, when, how, they, when, when, when how they to understand what's supposed to be their responsibility. They understood quite well what is these are these are these are these are learned men, these are intelligent men, they know what they are supposed to do. It's only that they have just rejected their individualism. They feel comfortable even in their state of uncomfortability. You know, as long as their immediate families are okay, their bank accounts are okay. Every other person can go to hell. Now, don't forget, you know, Achebe in Stains for the Passage, the white man came with his religion, and we look at his foolishness yeah. and allowed him to like stay. To like now, they have, religion. you know, uh, our young men have joined the rank of strangers. Mm. In that context, he is talking of the religious warrants. Now, try to redirect it to this political warrants of the present time. You will see that this is exactly what our governors, our politicians, uh, uh, are doing. Good. Thank you very much. Do you <laughs> have anything to say? It's like you are willing to say something about the inability of the uh, Eastern governors to support the ESN, which should be actually their priority. The, the, the. What I have to say there is that whatever you you agree, it becomes your belief system. The, the, the governors we have in the east or in the south, they are all those are okay. set of people. And please just to permit me to arrive at this point. And the truth of the matter is that they are under a spiritual enclosure, every one of them. But what remains of it is that ESN has come to stay. And ESN will cure them of this malaria that has been, or all this uh, Ebola that have been inflicted upon every one of them. Are they afraid? I want you to say. Oh, they are very, very afraid. Let me land with my face. <laughs> because, because it's, it's I, quite obvious, excuse by, me, my excuse friend. Me, please. Um, because of the statement, you know, that's what I wanted to hear this, and very good that you brought it up. Are you, can we say that the, these governors, yes. you know, are very much afraid of what is going to be their fate them, in the yes. new time? Yes. Because I asked the question carefully, if the ESN, they are disciplined to stay in the bush, mm -hmm. we know they are staying in the bush, but is it like these guys are somehow thinking, well, these guys are here, we don't know what is going to happen the next day, they are going to come out and question our um yeah our wrong behaviors and uh, you know so they, they don't necessarily want anybody to come uh, tomorrow and question i mean and, and judge their actions so and question their moves yeah, they're question they their moves. are very very much afraid very very much afraid in fact they don't sleep to be honest with you these heavyweight politi nigerian politicians they don't sleep i had uh, a privilege to discuss with an, an aid to one of them. Okay. Yes. And uh, you understand the level of fear in almost all of them. Mm. 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 They, mm. Fear, mm. they fear that this so-called, or according to their own terms, disgruntled element will want to move to attack them. Because of their evil deeds, they are very much aware of that. They are very much aware that they have offended the people, you know? And that is why, sadly, but I have to say it, that is why they keep propagating this religious confusion that is planted among the Igbos, the Africans. Okay. Because a very religious-minded individual will not go out of his it's beliefs it's to attack the politicians or the rich men who are, you know, holding his future to ransom. 
That is why they must eulogize these religious institutions because they help to calm or to give a dose of opium to walk every Sunday, opium. every morning right. to, 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 to the common to, to man. The common yes. Good. Um, I think we have brought this um, program today to its end, and I thank you, gentlemen, for being uh, for being here today. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Yes. And um, to summarize everything, we um, agreed that the ESN, they are disciplined, they are work, doing the work in the bush, and we also uh, agreed to the point that our governors, uh, our so-called governors, are not um, doing the work they are supposed to do, which is to support the ESN. And the reason why they are doing so is not necessarily, or it's not only because of the fact that they are indolent, uh, um, and that they have been, you know, um, made incapable as a result of the Nigerian system. Be, be, before then, I want to, um, there's something, a statement you, 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 a kind of question you were asking, I would want to uh, throw a little bit light on it, and it has to, it borders on um, how, whether the ESN is disciplined, or um, of the fear of if the ESM will be coming out because they, it is said that they belong to the bush. Mazit Nandekano said the last time that the ESM, actually, the essence of the formation is that the ESM belongs to the bush. In order to eradicate, wipe out, and cleanse our forest and give, and give uh, freedom to our mothers, to our parents to go back to their farm and farm peacefully. But be that as it may, don't also forget that before the formation of the ESN, we have what, they, what we call the volunteers. The volunteers have actually not completely been eradicated. They are still there doing their work. So what I am seeing is that in the next couple of days, weeks to months, if the Eastern, use the word, if the Eastern governor, the so-called Eastern governor, do not use their head, Maybe some faction of the ESN will actually have to come and work in collaboration with the uh, uh, volunteers to do some of the things, not only in the bush, but outside of our place to bring sanity. Well, I, I don't know if this is uh, exactly why Nandi Kano has created the ESN. Uh, this is your speculation. Let's, you know, the, uh, it's my, it's my talk, yeah, anyway. You know, this is uh, a security issue. It's a sensitive matter. Let's not say things that perhaps uh, would um, not just overwhelm to the whole setup. I mean, to jeopardize their, their security issues activities. or activities. Well, I'm, uh, I'm not trying to disagree with your point, but uh, let's keep it there. Um, <laughs> the point is that uh, Nabi Kanu used the word, he said, Security, uh, the ESN is not the Nigerian army and the uh, different army. army. And when this is a, when this army is ready, you will know. So he's as 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 clear as ever, he's always clear, he made it clear that this is not a Nigerian uh, different army. So we don't expect them to go in the city, they have a great work to do in the push to cleanse the push, as you say. That is it. Yeah, but I am not saying that uh, the uh, the ESN is automatically turning to the Biafran army. No, you what I, say, I, I am only say, trying to say, trying to um, uh, bring to our notice of the fact that before the emergence of the ESN, there was a creation. Okay. It's called the volunteers. The volunteers are still there. Let's not forget okay. in a hurry because uh, all eyes and all expectation is now heaved on the ESN. We tend to forget about the, the volunteers that we had. Okay. Our volunteer our volunteer men are still operational. And these volunteers are not were never assigned into the bush. Remember, after the Enugu massacre of uh, 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 the one that happened on Sunday morning against the police and the Bia France, uh, 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 IPOB uh, uh, young men coming to pray and uh, they were being shot in, the, in an enclosure. The volunteers came on board. It actually gave birth to the volunteer. And what I'm trying to say is that Mazet Nandekano, in his wisdom, has said that this thing will continue. He even said that after the 14 days count, any full 
Funani, or Funani cattle found in the town, in the city. This time now is not in the bush. Found in the city. Let's be putting these things together. Found in the city. Will be killed and slaughtered. Even, even in the bush. Wo and even in the roaming. bush. Any kind okay. of roaming in this All right. place. Um, uh, I want to say something. Okay. I want to chip in something. Um, mind you, the primary objective of this security apparatus is to because of the threat being posed by the Fulani first man. So be it the volunteers, the ESN, whatever, the primary objective is to keep our, uh, you know, our elderly region. men, uh, our region safe. You know, so uh, I would not doubt if some of these uh, uh, volunteers are part of the... Uh, uh, Eastern yes. Security Network. I will also not doubt because uh, before you know we had uh, Biafran Security Network, BSN or BSN? BSS. B uh, BSS, thank you. I will also not question if some of these uh, individuals were also enlisted uh, into Eastern Security Network. The essence is to secure our land, yeah. secure our territory. But the most disturbing aspect of it is that the so-called elders, the so-called politicians, the frontliner who are supposed to be at the forefront of securing lives and property are kind of dormant or, uh, you know, docile uh, over this very issue. And uh, it doesn't give, it doesn't, it, it doesn't tell much or good about them. Uh, that, is, that is why I'm saying these, are, these men are to me the modern day a warrant man. <laughs> yes. When you are elected into office and you see your people dying on daily basis from a very known factor or known source and then you are too blind or too afraid to say something about it. I mean, if we had not been so much indoctrinated by this outlandish religious concept, we should have driven this, this man away. It therefore behoves on us to hold our destiny in our hands. Yes. And that is the essence of the formation of the ESN and the volunteers. Hmm. So, we have uh, come to, to the end of this discussion today. And uh, gentlemen, Maazi Ndu, <laughs> thank you very much for being thank here you, today. Thank you, thank you for uh, inviting us. Yeah, Maazi and the Mekadu, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Um, so yes, delighted. viewers, and we thank you all for paying attention, and uh, we do um, ask you to uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Very Please important. Subscribe to our channel so that we continue to spread this um, uh, message. And uh, yes, uh, we are going to uh, be here once again next week to talk about other issues. And uh, yeah, we thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.